it sucks energy out of the planet. And that's why we die. That's why the body tries to get up to a certain point and it can't sustain itself and it drops back to dust. Our natural organic cycle and return to source, return home, would have been that we went through uh, many evolutional consciousness leaps, quantum leaps within ourself, and within one lifetime we would evolve back to uh, an ascension process right back up to God's source. Well, that lifetime might have been a very long lifetime, but we've been chopped down into you know, reincarnational cycles here. Uh, where we've been trying to incarnate the word of truth, but we can't because of the corruption in the atomic structure. And so uh, the black hole technology, uh, you say, who sucks the energy? Well, it's th those parts of creation that have fallen into separation and shared their mind of aberration with us. In other words, the programmers of our consciousness. You know, you've heard about the one world order and how, how this world is corrupt. You've probably heard and uh, understand that there's a there's a mentality that's operating the governments of this world and that we've all been programmed and tainted by a mind of separation. So, uh, you know, there's many, many... In the, in the books of Cathara, they do name all the, uh, all the intruder race lines that are operating just in a, you might say, a frequency band just out of our perceptual range, but they still influence, influence us through their own technologies and uh, many, many systems that are described, actually I describe a few of them in my book, and uh, the Voyages 1 and Voyages 2 book also describe a lot of the technologies that have been used to shut us down and make us ignorant of ourselves. You know, those parts of us that have been shut down, uh, you know, they're out of range, but they still exist. Those parts of our consciousness that constitute our higher uh, reality fields, they're still existing, but we can't touch them, we can't connect them, because they've been spun off and the energy is being siphoned out of our body form, and it goes into another living, another system which is in the black hole fall. It's falling. It's a falling system. And so uh, we are supplying the energy of a falling system because we have been harnessed, and we're being harvested. And that's where we're giving our allegiance to, through our mind. Our mind is giving energy uh, to other parts of consciousness rather than us focusing upon the Christ within. So when you focus upon the Christ within, then you are able to disconnect genetically and reprogram uh, your own temple, your own templates of your holographic projector. You're able to say, I will let God flow through me. I will let God's source flow through me and know through me, glow through me, bestow through me the beauty of holiness. I will let God flow through me because I'm giving my uh, dedication to that point within me which lets that mind be in me that was in Christ Jesus who overcame the world. See, Jesus overcame the world. And so as we desire to overcome this world of limitation uh, in ourselves, it's going to take a dedication to align ourselves with that flow of true information. The crystal river, crystal river spirals of living light and sound and electromagnetic tonal frequencies of mathematical regeneration that are coming down from a supporting matrix. And this is why I'm always talking about the matrix of the host. The host is those living parts of ourselves, could even be futuristic parts of ourselves, those parts from which we have descended. Uh, the majority of the universal complex is not fallen. It's only certain parts of, uh, you might say, the matrices of time and space are fallen into corruption. And those parts that are not fallen are the host. It's what we call the guardian alliance. It's what we call the interdimensional association of free worlds. All the Christic nations of the entire cosmic reality field of all life everywhere. Those parts of ourselves are coming to us and saying, hey, we're here to help you to uh, give you a memory implant, to give you uh, uh, something to use as a mind so that you can connect and uh, disassociate yourself from all of those parts within your templates which are dragging you down. So if, if you're continuing to uh, give allegiance to uh, those parts of yourself which are destructive and are supplying a black hole for, your body is going to be torn apart uh, you know, part of you is going to go down to dust and part of you wants to li lift itself up. But when you use the beautiful indwelling Christ spirit to mortify the deeds of the flesh, to put to death those parts of you, you know, that are dragging you down, 
when you know the process that there's a host here to support you, a living memory implant is here for you to reconnect into those higher parts of your mind. So the mortification of the deeds of the flesh, I said earlier on when I was talking, is the putting to death of the contractual arrangements that you have made with the mind of separation. Those many members in separation that are still flowing information into the holographic templates of your projector, of your illusion, of your worldview. So you're going to put them to death by the knowledge of the truth. You see, the truth will destroy the lie, but you've got to desire the truth and know the truth and let the truth come in. You've got to know that you are Christ. You know, that's the whole process. You've got to know that you are Christ and you're not the body of death. You're not the body of death. Jesus Christ has abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. And the gospel is Christ in you is you. You are Christ. You've always been Christ in God's mind. You are Christ. You're the offspring of itself. You're the offspring of God and God works through you to know itself as you so that you might know yourself that way too because uh, salvation is to know God and Jesus Christ whom He sent and to know yourself the way that you know Him. And so as we we let this life flow back into us, we're going to dissolve all of those parts of consciousness that are giving allegiance to uh, a black hole system and the, the spirals of energy coming into this earth at the moment in this present stellar activation cycle are making it very, very important for us to hasten the work, to let it happen at a faster rate. I said earlier uh, on another recording that the black hole frequencies are increasing their base pulse rhythm uh, in other words, the, the frequency of the, the vibration and oscillation of the communication that the black hole technology teams are uh, implanting into the Earth hologram at the moment are uh, raising the uh, Schumann resonance. The, in other words, the frequency of the Earth is resonating at a much higher frequency. And it's doing this to endeavor to, uh, through the vibrational increase, to attract more information to itself as they would extract more energy from us. So... Uh, Higher energies can transmute lower energies, and energy carries information. So if the base pulse rhythm of the black hole technology is frequencing at a higher rate, it's attracting more of the consciousness of the Earth into its folds. And uh, the Earth now is in a battle because the Christ consciousness, the true Christ consciousness, is also increasing its frequencies to override the black hole technology. And uh, as, as you would set your mind on the spirit and let Christ come into you and let the base pulse rhythm of your own computation come up with true information, uh, you are helping to hold at bay the black hole frequencies which are trying to overcome the whole planet. And so it becomes very, very efficacious right here and right now to be doing the work within yourself at a faster rate and to know of the technologies which are available to you to ascend your consciousness uh, with a very deliberate and quick means, you know, to, to really lift it up there and uh, to share it, you know, to give it away. Because uh, I found that what you give away comes home to stay and multiplies for another day. In other words, if you've got somewhere to flow your life, if, if you're deliberately extending that radiant glory of the all-knowing one, that Christ in you, as the Father would work through you, as you know you are the Son and you're blessing everyone, you're finding more and more channels of life to, to pour through this living water, the living water of life, uh, immeasurable, innumerable rivers of living water shall spring forth from your innermost being into the dry and desert lands. You should become an ocean of love and you should be flowing forth radiant glory in a transfiguring fiery frequency to consume all things which are alien to the knowledge of truth. You become Christ in the earth. You, know. uh, you are Christ in the earth. And uh, you always have been that Christ, but you're coming forth now. You're appearing here now is very, very important. Your appearing here now is very, very important. And uh, that's what I dedicate myself to, to, to bring it out and to help to give those rivers away. You know, flows of living light uh, to transfigure the minds around me because there's only one mind. Uh, we're all waking up to that now. Anyway, I'll hand over the microphone because, uh, uh, what's the time? It's, well, it's 10.30 here in Melbourne, Australia. I want to thank you for listening in. I, put all, I have put all of my uh, recordings on 
Two Minds, One Choice, free audio page. Uh, I've been putting them on there. If anyone wants to re-listen or anything else, if they're important to you or you'd like to hear again. So there they are. I hand over the microphone now and I bless you. I thank you. We love you.